Hello, welcome back to Freddie in the Shed. I hope you're well. We've got another one of these little uh, SI 4732 radios, what I call spy radio. And this time we have a branded make. We've got a company here, which is AMN Volt, Amina Volt, how you pronounce that. They've actually put their name to it and branded the uh, product. Haven't opened the box yet, but this one claims to be a Mark II version. So this should have been shipped with the latest firmware, so we shouldn't have to worry about updating it. Also, this version says that it has a built-in headphone amplifier, which always let the first version down somewhat. So it should be a little bit louder when we plug in a speaker. Let's get it on the bench and have a look inside the box. Difference with this version of the radio is that you can choose whether you want a wideband donut loop or you want a telescopic antenna. I got the telescopic antenna, I think. This one comes in at 22 pounds plus a little bit of delivery or you can go for the loop one. I think that's another pound. I think that's 23 pounds. As always with a Banggood, if you spend over 40 pounds, you get it post free. Otherwise, it's a couple of quid postage. So I think these have reached a sort of level now now straight away opening this box because this is a branded radio straight away you can see a much nicer op box open experience obviously they've taken a little bit of time on the packaging also provided are two vfo knobs this is the larger flusher style which i will probably change and the radio has a slightly smaller knob already fitted so there's your sma telescopic uh, antenna well, it's quite long actually compared to the other one i would say probably about 50 centimeters so yeah quite a uh, useful length not only on the fm broadcast that will also work quite well on the broadcast shortwave bands again very nice very nice packaging usb-c charging lead quite uh, generic and here we've got the radio itself. Feels heavier, feels heavier than my previous two models. I think the casing is a much better quality 3D printed casing. Obviously got the company logo there printed, screen printed on the, on the case. Yeah, really, really nice actually. It does feel like it would take a knock. So yeah, this is the best, this is the best 3D printed case so far. I'm gonna change that tuning VFO out straight away because I think I will go for the bigger one yeah there we go that's nicer isn't it feels good right let's take the screen protector off there we go switch on the side and the uh yeah, and there we go. So we're straight into the new version of the software and it's so much easier because we don't have to worry about that silly double press. There should be a mute version, mute on the... Let me just get the volume down for a sec. Now, we've because we've got the Mark II version of the firmware, I should say, I keep calling it software, don't I? So, because we got that, again, single press holds you straight into the volume. Um, I have gone through this before on other videos, but one of the more useful features, and certainly for making this video, is the brightness. We can now adjust the brightness on the display, and that will make it easier for me to show you on the camera. It does go quite bright actually. I think you probably, that's the maximum brightness. I think you probably see that on a sort of a fairly bright day. Not, probably not dark bright, probably not direct sunshine. We'll set it around about there. Someone did ask me what these little two dots are for on the, I'm not really sure. I think one might be a FM indicator maybe. And uh, one might be a tuning indicator. Not entirely, not entirely sure. But yeah, quite pleased that it comes comes with the later version of the firmware, shows you the battery and also does give you an indication of the battery voltage. So nothing, nothing wrong with that. Sharp 1.9 inch screen as before. You do lose the analog tuning scale though, which is a bit of a shame because I quite like that on the early version. 
that's it for the box. Absolutely no instructions whatsoever. So you are reliant on videos like mine. Um, I'm not going to go through how the radio works because I did cover that on the original video. If you want to, uh, if you want, if you want to see that. So that's it. I think as before, I think we need to take this um, outside. Oh, before I do that, let's uh, let's test the output on the volume now on the. Uh, headphone jack and we start with Jeremy and Bethnal Green who says it strikes me so that is the built in little phone speaker in the radio and it's pretty loud actually and it's clear no, not Verdi and Rigoletto, but the let's plug in an external speaker and see Maybe the how it drives this kef speaker it's still quiet isn't it on, with that Chris, Anthony, Dinah and Eleanor also I mean you can hear it but that's still really, really quiet. Just going to plug in my radio headphones. And I'll see how that sounds. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, that's that's much louder, much, much louder. See if I can get the microphone into the uh, into the headphones so you can hear. Yeah, that is much improved. Let me see if I can just hold the uh, microphone close to the headphones. Can... So absolutely no trouble there at all with headphones just a little bit quiet on the speaker it just hasn't quite got the oomph if you like to drive a full cone speaker but yeah definitely improved on headphones no need for a separate headphone amplifier anymore so that's good brilliant okay i think what we need to do it's like we've done before we've got to wait till it gets a little bit uh later in the day short wave especially comes in better when the sun's going down and then we'll take it outside and we'll give it a test. I will be connecting it directly into the camera. That amplifies the signal anyway, but I think now we've got the headphone amplifier uh, in the radio, there's no worries about having a low, a low signal. One thing I'd like to see though, is on the next model perhaps, is some uh, audio adjustments such as a tone control, or maybe even an equalization setting. So we could sort of just maybe increase the bass a little bit certainly on the fm because it is stereo of course it's not dab but uh, it is quite decent wide stereo anyway let's um take it outside do some outside testing got a glorious sunny afternoon on a sunday for the testing so just to let you know what i'm going to do we're going to try a variety of antennas we'll try the telescopic whip antenna that comes with the uh, emmy volt We'll also try one of these little donut wideband antennas. And then my favourite antenna is the Dishaboo GA800. Quite a few of you have asked would, what would I use on a day-to-day -day -day basis. And I find this very good because it is so selective and directional. And that really helps me out because I live very close to a, a powerful AM broadcast station. And also, because I'm British, I've got a cup of tea as well. Right, let's get on with it. BBC Radio 3, the home of classical music. What exactly is a perfect classical breakfast? We think it goes something like this. Today at 4.30 on Radio 4 and BBC Sounds. BBC News at 4 o'clock. The Conservatives are calling for more ambitious targets for cutting immigration after the Home Secretary Yvette Cooper announced a series of changes to visa and recruitment Smash. laws. He's proven it. Is Ed Sheeran about to do something very Ed, though, and knock himself off that top spot? He's got another song out, which is gunning for number one tonight. 1,000 assaults on prison staff in UK jails last year. Vanessa Frake-Harris, a former head of security and operations at Wormwood Scrubs, has told us she's not surprised by these sorts of attacks.
he is going to be able to continue. He's walking back to halfway, but he's, he's stopping again down by the corner flag. I'm astounded that Forrest haven't delayed making that substitution. Right, okay. son. This is Tarita Summerwall on Like a Gold. Like a Gold. Your advanced eye test today. Vision Express. Express your vision. TNCs apply. Upgrade your free NHS PRSI medical card eye test for a nominal fee. Sunday session on Talk Sport with Enterprise Rent a Car. Making a big move or planning a clear out with vans of all. by love that, that you're vulnerable yeah that you're vulnerable that you're exposed that you are not whole anymore really uh that like a powwow and see how it used to be or like say i still miss you or something i'm just like i'm comfortable and right. they're comfortable with the fact that we will just never talk or see each other ever again <laughs> And there you go. Quite decent performance for such a little radio. I mean, the speed in which these are being developed now is, is quite amazing, really. Definitely think this is the best one, the best one so far. I do like the case. It does feel a lot more substantial. It's quite nice that someone's put their name to it as well. And currently, as I'm making this video, it's got the latest, the latest firmware, so you haven't got to worry about 
upgrading it. The headphone amplifier also is definitely a plus as well. I uh, didn't drive the speaker particularly well, but maybe I'm asking a little bit too, too much of it. There you go, what a great little toy, a great little gadget for just over £20. I mean, it's the price of a pizza nowadays, isn't it? Really, really nice. I'm going to keep my eye on these. I just think these are going to be developed further. They're obviously selling well. So as the newer models come out, I'll try and get them into the shack and we can have a look at them and we can follow the progression. If you're interested in this one, this one was sent in from Banggood. I do get a small discount from Banggood. That will be in the description below, along with the link to this, if you want to go and check it out further for yourself. So that's it, end of the review. As always, I do appreciate you dropping by. I'm still a small channel, so I don't get that many views per video. So thank you for your view time. And as always, please, please, please look after each other for me. Stay safe. And of course, I'll catch you all on the next one. Cheers, guys. Friends in the ship Where the magic unfolds Fred in the shed With his trusty CB He's a friend to the lonely on a frequency